What is up everybody, it's Fendi. So here I'm gonna show you how to make a zero gravity dubbing brush. Uh, this is a material from Snake River Fly. It's marabou with uh, excellent hints of flash, uh, color coded to perfection. I really love this stuff. So that's what we're gonna be making. You're gonna need a dubbing brush table. Uh, I like to use this right angle drill because I can just kinda rest it right here along uh, my, my desk. Uh, this is a uh, dubbing brush table. It's by uh, uh, Fly Fish Food is the one that distributes it. I don't know who makes it for them, but we're just going to go ahead and get my uh, drill secured onto this little pin here, and then I'll go ahead and center this back in the camera so you can see what we're doing. Make sure that you have that pin all the way back. Uh, we're going to start with some stainless steel wire. I love the stainless steel wire. This is a size medium. I've played around with the small. Uh, I like to use that on smaller bugs, of course, but uh, you know the medium seems to work really well and doesn't add a lot of bulk. And I'm just going to thread that onto itself, wrap it around the hook, and then measure the length that I need it. And then I'll just kind of drop that bob and making sure that that stainless steel's through that other hook. Now. Uh, for this, this is the product. It's zero gravity dubbing. It's, uh, as mentioned earlier, it's marabou with hints of flash. Really, really awesome blends. Um, I'm going to pull out a pretty good chunk here, and we're going to basically um, pull out little sections of it at a time. It's easier to work with a smaller amount of material. Uh, when making a dubbing brush, you can stack it one way uh, or another. I'm just centering this along that stainless steel uh, wire that's in this little groove here on this table. And I'm just gonna pull those fibers out, kind of you know, keeping the tips aligned. Uh, it looks a little bit better from my angle than it does maybe from yours, but uh, just kind of spread it out as even as you can. You'll notice that you get in this repetition of clumps, and we'll go ahead and just keep adding until the whole thing is even, and then I'll just inspect it to make sure I've got pretty good even spacing. If you see some fibers that are kind of, you know, out of the ordinary, you can go ahead and adjust it at this point. And now what we're going to do, this is, uh, uh, we're going to go ahead and cut our wire, to the length it makes it a little bit easier for threading that uh, through that little eyelet and so I'm just going to go ahead and cut that <clears throat> and then what I want to do is I'm going to use some of this uh, low tack wax from Jay Stockard I'm going to go ahead and coat this uh, wire just up and down once or twice and then I'll leave it with a loose band. I don't want it to touch, and I'm kind of orienting it right where it's gonna land, holding it above with my left hand, and then I'm going to fish this tag in through this little ring eyelet, and then as I pull it tight, I'm going to drop the wire straight down. Uh, I found that if you adjust that wire, tweak it, or you know whatever you could cause your fibers to misalign, uh, with this it's not too big of a deal. And then here's a little trick so that we don't have to brush it out like crazy later. I'm going to go ahead and drop this table just a little bit so that those fibers can move around. You can see towards the drill how they're clumped together, but here towards the middle and the end where I was able to drop that table slightly, we're not going to need to brush those as much. Now the key is you want to watch this, uh, this eyelet, and as I'm holding tension against um, basically pulling outwards, but I'm going to let that drill walk in as the wire gets tighter. Otherwise, you'll snap it. And so I'm going to uh, go to that about that point. Uh, it's moved in an inch, and then I'm going to take a brush. Uh, this is a nylon brush. I also use stainless steel. And I'm just going to go ahead and brush it out. You're going to pull some fibers out. I just kind of take those and set it under the workbench so that you know they don't blow away. And uh, then we'll just, once we get it all brushed out, I'm going to go ahead and spin it just a little bit more because we've removed some of those fibers. So I want to make sure that it's nice and tight. And then I'll watch it walk in about another half inch on that pin. And about as soon as my drill hits that board is when it's about ready to either one snap or be done. And so I'll take my wire snips, trim the end there, and then I'll just kind of fish it off this little hook here. And there we go. That is the zero gravity. Um, brush in an olive. You can see that this is uh, really, really super buggy. It's got a really good mixture of olive, marabou, and flash, and it's pretty easy to make. This will just save some time at the vise. A key when making these, I usually do them outside uh, just because marabou ends up everywhere, uh, or just vacuum up in between. Makes it a little bit easier, and also doesn't blend our, our colors when I'm doing you know three or four brushes of one color and then three or four of another. Uh, you'll find that you'll get some um, you know we could we could have gotten a claret uh, fiber in this or a black and you know some of them don't make a difference others it would and so you can see you can just make a ton of brushes really fast so thanks for watching and hopefully that will save you some time at the vice